Hi everyone, this is Elena. Exclusion water for health and longevity. Is it a hype or a brilliant solution? Let's find out. First, a few basic facts about exclusion water or easy water for short. It's a structured water. It's a crystalline water. It's also fourth phase of, the, of water, something between liquid and solid phase. Dr. Gerald Pollock extensively studied this phenomenon and even published a book with the same title. This clip is from one of his uh, educational videos. In the presence of hydrophilic material, water molecules align with each other in some ordered fashion, creating liquid crystals. It has drastically different structure and its chemical formula is H3O2, unlike regular H2O. Amazingly, the particles and molecules are progressively excluded from this zone, hence the term exclusion zone. Importantly, the fourth phase of water is not neutral. It's negatively charged and the bulk water next to it becomes positively charged. And that creates cellular battery that can light up an electrical bulb, as was demonstrated in his lab. Essentially, easy water helps the cells to maintain the necessary membrane potential and to support mitochondria. In other words, easy water is necessary for the cells to work to function optimally. Now comes health and longevity point. Our body's major component is water. And the younger and healthier we are, the more water we can hold inside our cells. At the same time, our cells are electrical batteries. They have membrane potential between minus 40 and minus 80 millivolts. And there is direct correlation between full membrane potential and health or decreased membrane potential in, in our cells and disease. And when we die, our cells membrane potential becomes zero. So to me, it makes perfect sense that the amount of um, easy water in our cells also directly correlates with our health and longevity. The good news is that we can greatly increase the content of easy water in our bodies naturally. And it's so gratifying to realize that everything that I preached in this channel and all the tips in my free guide about uh, how to achieve uh, optimal health it all boils down to, to the increase of easy water in our cells, in our bodies. First of all, infrared light is a driving force to structure the water in the cells. Hence, sauna is very important to increase easy water uh, in our bodies. Sunlight is another good source of infrared light. And another reason to go outside and soak some sunlight in a safe manner, obviously. Interestingly enough, exposure to the cold temperatures also helps to expand easy water, just because of the contrast between inside and outside temperature. So make cold shower a good friend of yours. It will help you. Obviously, drinking plenty of pure, ordinary water is a must because a fraction of this water, the cells will convert into easy water as well, just because the metabolic reactions in our body also produce infrared light. Also, eating some herbs and foods will help to expand easy water. Apparently, turmeric, holy basil, coconut water, and ghee, or clarified butter, significantly expand easy water in, in laboratory settings. But this is what, what has been tested and published so far. 
I suspect that all kinds of adaptogens and medicinal herbs can do the same. Water from the plants is a direct supply of already structured water. That's why juicing and uh, eating uh, aloe vera gel is so therapeutic. Just make sure to use organically grown veggies for juices. Otherwise, you will increase your toxic load many times over. Interestingly, sound frequencies were found to induce infrared light in living organisms. So another reason to use sound therapy to slow down the aging. And finally, the big killer of easy water is, guess what, glyphosate, the major ingredient in Roundup uh, herbicides. Even tiny amount of this drug significantly dehydrated the cells. And I suspect that all kinds of other harmful chemicals that we are exposed to from before even we're born do just the same, harm our cells through uh, decreasing easy water, probably doing much, much more than that as well. So I hope that you will drink your water, eat your veggies, get some sunlight and go to the sauna with this new feeling of appreciation that you are doing something really helpful to increase your easy water in your bodies and increase your health and longevity as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel and be well.